evil is not so much out there as it is in here. And I'm pointing at myself as I say this. Help us, O oh Father, with temptation and deliver us from the evil in our own heart. And Father, deliver us first from the fiction that it is not really our problem. Jesus began this teaching that we've looked at by saying, then this is how you should pray. If we come away with anything from this study and meditation, one idea should be clear, and that is that not only should we pray, but that there is a way to pray. But let's be careful here. This does not mean that there's a formula or a mantra to repeat. It means that there is a heart that we need to have. A heart of warmth and family, our Father. A heart of respect, hallowed be your name. A heart of submission, your kingdom come. A heart of surrender, your will be done. A heart of dependency, give us today our daily bread a heart of humility and brokenness. Forgive us our debts. A heart of generosity as we forgive our debtors. A heart of self-examination. Deliver us from evil. Do we hear Jesus? We need to pray. We need to pray just like we need to breathe. Some people are spiritually oxygen deprived. They're trying to be human and real and alive without prayer. It's sad. It's tragic. We need to pray. At 63 years old, over the last five years, Either my wife or I have called my parents every day with only a few exceptions. We need to pray just like we need to talk to mom and dad. And Jesus is kind enough to teach us to pray. You don't need skill or a degree or a title. You don't need a certain type of childhood experience. There's nothing that will exclude you. You're welcome to the place of the king. You only need to have the heart.